Hello and welcome back, lovely Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a collective, intuitive, general reading for my fellow Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. So Gemini, this is going to be for January 2023 as our ruler Mercury is retrograde which started uh, on December 29th, 2022. And now we're in 2023's energy. So let's see what the energy will be playing out. This will be for the whole month of January, 2023. What are the messages for the moon? The moon is in your sign right now, Gemini. So Mercury rules the mind and our experiences that are leading us to rethink certain areas of our life right now, retrograde, right? To revise it, to update it, to give it an uplift, whatever it is, whether this is you or your baby that you're working on or in general. So there's an update period here, okay? It's also to find a better way to strategize for a better outcome for our long distance commitments or I said long distance, for our long standing, okay? You could be dealing with long distance travel right now and your commitments your responsibilities they're going through a big change right now scorpio energy taurus just had this card so pluto is playing out a big change gemini for our january happy new year big transformation is here this is like the phoenix rising okay gemini so it tells me with pluto energy here it's time to release that negativity, Gemini, okay? It's time to not resist any change, okay? If you are feeling unable to move forward here, it's a feeling here of letting go of negativity, okay, Gemini? The energy that's playing out right now. So like I feel, it's an opportune time to review what is working for you in your life and what is not as we enter 2023. Emotions are running very high right now. So the energies playing out for the beginning of Jan January are going to be intense. This is intense energy, super duper. This is, this is a way of getting ready to speak your emotions, Gemini, when it comes to your, your feelings. And with full moon and Cancerian, this is the full moon where it's going to be a big purge. So this is purging your emotions here, releasing them. It's like crying it out, tears, right? It's like 2022 was a very hard year. The last two years have been very difficult, okay, Gemini? And it also feels like these are a major purge here of releasing, letting go of what no longer serves you. So this is bringing positive energy in. When it comes to a win-win outcome, Gemini, Libra energy here. So you could have Libra in your chart or be dealing with someone who is the void. So there is a void. We had this card before. This is speaking of a loss, okay? For some of us, 2022 was a very, the new year was not easy. It was emotionally intense. We have lost loved ones in 2022 that will not be making its way forward into 2023. So my condolences to the loss of our loved ones that we release that pain, right? You take your time with this, but like I feel that outcome is, is, is there's a feeling here of everything is a transition. When there's a void, everything it's, it's a transition that's here. And it feels like a new start is here, Gemini, a brand new beginning, a new start. And you are going to need to work through these changes. You have a lot of scorpionic energy here today coming in January. This is Pluto, very intense. I'm located in Las Vegas in the United States. Pluto is reaching a point in the United States from 1776. This is 240 some years that the changes that are here, Gemini. And it's gonna be an intense review. So there's an uncovering within the depths of you, Gemini, with Scorpio. Scorpio is like the forensics. It dives deep into the shadow. 
facing your fears, Gemini. So there is something here about you getting ready to face your fears in 2023 and release this negative energy because emotionally it could have been holding you back, right? Because there's something here about a whole brand new beginning, but there's also something that's voiding out. It's ran its course here is what I'm hearing, okay? It's time for a major healing, Gemini. This new start brings in a time for healing. So take your time healing, whatever this is for you, my loves. Like I feel, blessed are you, Gemini. So this is a brand new start and you have a new romantic cycle that's beginning. I'm filling it with a win-win outcome with Libra. Libra is the balancing of scales in your relationships, your partnerships, okay? So we're gonna see also, what does the wisdom of the Oracle have for the messages for January 2023 for Gemini? Gemini. So this is being in a in a power of success, Gemini. When when this much energy comes in with the changes, you're stepping into a leadership role. Do not be intimidated, Gemini, by the position that you are stepping into. So working through the shadow or facing some of the areas of our life now, because we're winning here. This is definitely a whole new karmic cycle. That has begun, Gemini, for 2023. And might I say, Gemini's prediction for 2023 is this new start that's coming, Gemini, is going to be the one for success for 2023. Affirming this will be a successful year for Gemini. Unfinished symphony. See the notes in the keyboard. Some are low, some are high. These are the strands also of the DNA within us, the seven strands. The seven chakras I'm, I'm picking up. This is an unfinished symphony within you, Gemini, number 10. So something here is not completed. There's a gift that you're gifted with. It's a talent. You're very gifted. You are, like I feel, invested in, this is art. So this project that you work on, it's a gift that you receive. For some of you, you are have an artistic way of expressing yourself through music. For some of you, you play the piano here. For some of you, you're in a symphony here, okay? Whatever it is, this is something within you, Gemini, that's starting. So it tells me you are recovering. This is recovering. This is something recovering within you, Gemini, that you might need to revise. You might need to update. You might need to revisit this part of you that used to bring you in happiness and joy. It's not done yet. Like I feel it's not over to the fat lady sings is what I'm kind of hearing here. So this project that you were invested in, this hobby, this gift is for you to revise now. <clears throat> Mending, Gemini. So this is the six of cups kind of an energy. I have 52, 23, and number 10. This will bring in, like I feel, the dove that's extending um, that olive branch for peace, okay? I trust that I am safe. I trust that I am unconditionally loved. Mending cords, Gemini. So this is, this is a feeling of the inner understanding, okay, of revisiting past relationships. It doesn't have to be love. It could be friendships. It could be relationships that you have strong cords attached here, okay? And this is something that brings peace to this family issue here or whatever you're mending right now, okay? It also feels like, to be fair, it's time to be fair. It's time to balance the scales. You got justice all over this, Libra energy. I feel for some of you, you're connecting with a Libra. You have a very strong soul connection, a very strong bond there with a Libra. And it feels like the both of you are bringing in balance. There is something here that's unfinished between the both of you also I'm feeling here, okay? And like I feel the both of you are coming to this feeling of peace and tranquility. This is number 23, which tells me there's a change here. Things are about to change. Peace is being extended to you. It's going to bring in a win-win outcome. This is if it has anything to do with legalities or courts or karmic justice is here telling me it's going to be favorable this is favoring you gemini a win-win outcome that is here for you 
And like I feel, this mending is healing unconditional love here, all right? Because it is the feeling of great success with this win-win outcome that comes to you, Gemini. And it brings in a whole new start. So let's see. And the intense, the emotions are on high right now. So it feels like it, there's, there's changes, massive changes and a time for healing when it comes to soul connections, Gemini. This review is because it's time to balance those scales once again, to bring in a sense of liberation. This is for Gemini. How many times Libra are gonna come in to this reading? Strong Libra is here, air sign. Equilibrium, I'm hearing. So very, very justification is here. It's a feeling of very effective, uh, whatever this is, is a sense of coming into divine harmony. Libra is ruled by Venus. So this is Venus coming to a place now where, like I feel, this is a very strong indication that this is a whole karmic balancing scales. Light as a feather, light as a feather. Yeah, King of Swords, lover. You definitely have an air sign, Gemini, that is approaching you. This is in a lover situation. For some of you, it doesn't have to approach you. This is someone you once cut ties with, for some of you. This is an, an, a sense of lovers, you, Gemini, that's your card. So you were in alignment and in union with this person. Yes, and this person could be coming in to communicate. This is someone that I feel learned a very valuable lesson. Lessons were learned here, Libra, on both sides. The scales go both ways. And you got it twice, Gemini. You got a very strong energy here. Libra, Scorpio. Major changes in mending a connection. New moon, new start. Hmm. Okay, so this reading is going to be about coming into universal alignment with justice now, Gemini. So let's see what Gemini's overall energy. It's a, it's a very successful but obedience. There's obedience in the power in itself of obedience, of inner understanding, of wisdom. By not being intimidated by your position with the Holy Spirit. Seven of Pentacles is here. So there's a pause. There's a waiting, Gemini. Investing time in things no longer that I feel you are burdened by. Nine of Swords, Mars and Aries, Ten of Wands. There is releasing, Gemini. There is a feeling here of you dropping the burdens now. Things that gave you a headache, you're realizing here, Gemini. You're not going to invest in. It feels like this page of pentacles is a brand new opportunity. There's a brand new opportunity here, Gemini, that brings in a situation of something that's starting here. This could be you using this opportunity, Gemini, to make plans to invest in learning, higher learning here with this page and in four of swords. So you're definitely recovering, Gemini, it feels like from a painful situation for some of you. And this, page, this seven of pentacles now, is that review, it's that pause, right? Because time is money, energy is money. This is about seven of coins. The reward, the investment of looking at things long standing now. Because the seven of pentacles is earth, it's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It feels like you've been waiting for results and you've been putting in all the hard work and not seeing any results, Gemini, it feels like. It feels like you've been having this stressed out feeling of I put so much hard work in this area of my life, but I'm not seeing the results. So you're stressed out, you're worried, your emotions are running high right now. And it feels like there was a message that comes to you, right, in January here. It's somebody reaching out to you. But it feels like it feels like the results are something here that you've been thinking about. It's like, do you really value this connection? Because you've been waiting on this 
and it feels like whatever it is with the Ten of Wands, you're getting ready to, to this has been dragging on, I'm hearing, and that you are getting ready to drop the burdens of what was dragging you on, dragging on. Wherever you had this hostility or held a grudge, this is what I feel. And you're, like I feel, the results here are getting ready to drop any burden. Yeah. Your last reading was very dramatic. What is the immediate past? Three of Cups, yeah. Three of Cups is burdened here, okay, by whatever community this was that you were connecting with, people, third, you know, three of cups, ace of cups in the past, and seven of swords. Yeah, so there was a misconception here that someone didn't want, it, it was like somebody here was invested in a third party situation in the past. There was no misconception. King of one, somebody here that left you maybe feeling in a misconception, but they couldn't hide the fact that you knew it, Seven of Swords, that there was deception here. There was lying, stealing, cheating. This person had a third party, Ace of Cups. There was a, a chance in the past for things to be fair with this Ace of Cups. A renewal or, or a sense of renewing something here, but in the past there was a third party interference here. This was someone here that did not want to commit. This was someone here that had game. Somebody here that was unreliable. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. Like to play the field, might I say. Yeah, somebody here that was a very, like I feel, determined. Passionate, charismatic, romantic. It feels like you had two people here in the past, Gemini. A King of Pentacles also that came in and offered you love. Ace of Pe Cups. But yet there was a, ki a, a king of wands here, Gemini. Someone that you were attracted to, a friend with benefits, and it was a romantic connection in the past. This person was entangled in a third party situation here. And it feels like this king of pentacles is the feeling, somebody here is feeling a loss. If you were in a commitment, a partnership, What is surrounding Gemini in the near future that approaches in love and in general? Got it. The Magician, Mercury. So Mercury is not yet finished with its retrograde. It will be moving forward in the near future, knowing that you have every tool within you, Gemini, to move forward and absolutely move forward because it feels like you're getting ready to walk away, Gemini. And Nine of Wands. So there is someone here, Gemini, that I feel you're getting ready to walk away from a situation that you were emotionally invested in. Could be Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But this person is not proud of what they've done, is what I feel once again. This is somebody here, Gemini, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, okay? And it feels like there's a painful situa situation that you're recognizing now that emotionally... It brings in a sense of a new beginning that opens up a new start for you now. And this person here can't face you, Gemini. So someone here is definitely having a hard time with the with the with with this connection. Page of Cups. So you're moving towards a new opportunity, Gemini. It feels like this is a new start, a new beginning. Page of Cups, Aquarius energy. Yeah. And there's something here, Aquarius energy, where you find hope. It feels like Gemini, there's that Aquarius energy that brings in that new level of elevation. This page brings in elevation. This is a new beginning, a new person that I feel is coming in here, an opportunity that's going to be aligning you to a higher frequency. It feels like you're following your GPS magician. You're manifesting and your hopes, desires. You're affirming it, Aquarius energy. So there is something here that you're manifesting, Gemini, that you have hope in. And you're walking away from what no longer resonates with what's best and highest for you. The nine of wands and, the, and this nine of cups here. You got nine, you got, no, I'm sorry, eight of cups, nine of wands. It feels like you can't even, this person's not, you can't, they're turning their back on a situation, not facing the truth, right? 
And here too, this is somebody who is blinded to the truth, right? They got a mask over their eyes. So, they got a mask over their eyes. So, you, like I felt, time to recover the truth. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? The challenge is world card. Something is unfinished here. Something is not closed out completely. There's a lack of completion or a lack of closure. Someone's feeling five of pentacles. This person's feeling left out. This is someone who is feeling left out. They're in the fives, five, five. Major changes are here. This person is avoiding conflict. This person is avoiding facing you right now. This person's going through a financial loss. Someone here is feeling depleted, drained, depleted. This person has hit rock bottom, Gemini, is what I feel. This is a feeling of somebody struggling at war, suppressing, feeling very insecure, can't face you for a reason. Because this is somebody who's giving up because they've given up on themselves. So this is somebody here who is feeling the lack, the loss, the failure energy here. So there's like I feel this feeling here of world card. Somebody's world has changed. It's it's collapsed. Their world has fallen apart here. Knight of Wands. Yes. The Knight of Wands is an energy of fire. Aries Leo Sag. Someone here that was in and out of your life, Gemini. This is the player energy also. This could be somebody here that was in and out of your life. Somebody here that was in a third party situation, right? Temporary. Short-lived. Okay. Unreliable. Uh, somebody here that definitely didn't have it together. They didn't have it all together. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is more energy of, this is like a feeling here of, that takes you off balance, right? Somebody that took you off balance. Somebody that's going back and forth. It's like a throwback from the past, this person. This person's juggling their finances. They're disorganized. This person's imbalanced. That's why you got justice twice, three times. One, two, three. So this person is going through, like I feel, a sense of things very unbalanced, un unorganized right now. What is the advice from the Holy Spirit, Gemini? What is the advice for Gemini? Knight of Cups. Gemini, spirit is saying, yes, new love is here. Romance is here, Gemini. Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. You have two suitors, Gemini. So for some of you, like I feel, don't say that. We keep saying that they're suitors. This reading, like I feel, is not going to resonate for everyone out there. Some of you are resisting. Some of you are blocking new love from coming in or blocking. So there's a feeling of waiting, right? A feeling of waiting for results in love. Something that you've been meditating, praying, okay? Because it feels like you've been there, done that. You're not you're not open to the same old relationships. Like there's a there's a feeling here now, Gemini, of you wanting better results, but putting that energy now within yourself, magician, Mercury retrograde. As you move forward and release any feelings of you feeling like you were, went through rejection or abandonment issues, of facing these wounds, clearing up that negative energy, right? It's time to release negativity, to work through the fears, because there is someone that Gemini is holding on to you. This person's coming back in. Spirit says you have offers that are headed towards you. You have somebody, Knight of Pentacles, slow moving, your advice, like I feel, Gemini, is to take it day by day with the Knight of Pentacles right now, during Mercury retrograde and the Knight of Cups, because Four of Pentacles is a feeling of resisting, right? Resisting. What is the outcome for Gemini? It also tells me, have hope. This is like, I am faithful. I am hopeful. Aquarius energy. This is more of that energy of shining, Gemini. The more that you shine, Page of Cups, the offers are just continuing to approach you. This is a Page of Cups. This is coming into alignment with the star energy. A new version of yourself now, Gemini. A higher timeline that you'll be approaching. 
big changes, Mars and Scorpio tower moment and King of Swords. It's a surprise. Someone's about to surprise you. This is a surprising change, Gemini. This is a feeling of something is about to go down here, okay? It feels like with this tower moment, all right? There's going to be this clear communication from the King of Swords, which can be you, Gemini. This could be you with Aquarius energy. Cutting ties being an energy for some of you, ruthless, I'm hearing. Someone here was ruthless. And this tower moment, Gemini, like I feel, is a sense of finding faith and hope after this change. Because there is an emotional, intense energy of this and this and page a cup someone's like is it over or not that's what i'm hearing because this is a feeling of like what i was feeling here is it really over or not it's all mental energy now with all this air and aquarius it's like making it very clear the awareness now with the king of swords okay that every time a negative mind thought comes to it, arises, Gemini, to catch yourself and affirm, I am safe. Root these words, Gemini, deep within your feet and affirm, I am safe, right? Because this is where you're headed, Gemini. This is the energy here of what begins to flow from your lips now, Gemini should flow like a river of light body from the 5D. It should flow from your body from this energy of Aquarius with Page of Cups that starts this new chapter, this new beginning of 2023 with you shining like the Aquarius energy, expressing yourself by your words are your power, Gemini. So this is a the new expression of yourself and it's big changes. What's crumbling, Gemini, is the old version of yourself now. Because this is the energy of you using Mercury retrograde to identify with emotionally and spiritually what no longer works for you, Gemini. Yeah. So for some of you, there is a feeling here of something that didn't close out yet is coming up for a review. It isn't yet closed out, but I do feel the tower is the final. Is it really over or not? Tower moment. Brings in, right, right when the tower is happening, hope is at there. It's like hope arrives from the tower. The tower brings hope. It's like, I am hopeful. I am faithful. This is me aligning, right? Affirming this new version of yourself. Aligning to your wish fulfillment with healing. It's time for healing. A new start is here. Like I feel, Gemini, it is safe for you to go deep within now, okay, to express yourself very clear, right, with clear communication. Because it's going to be like a feeling now, okay, where you're taking very calculated steps forward is what I feel. So I'm going to leave the reading there, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next Gemini reading. This is amazing, all this Libra energy here. We'll see you next.